French Guinea fowl. It's got a full agami of flavour. You'll, you'll see when, when you taste it, it's, it's fantastic. There's very few other countries that produce guinea fowl, but not of the same standard of, of, of bird as French guinea fowl. I want to show you that it's not just about roasting, yeah? that you can get a lot from the product by doing different things with it. The, the meat's dry, yeah? the, skin, the skin's dry, it, it's firm and it's got a shine to it, it just looks, it just looks healthy. It's been given time to grow which obviously gives it more, more flavour. Using French guinea fowl I use all French produce. And what I'm going to show you is a classic French dish called a ballantine. One of my favourite dishes would be French guinea fowl, the leg braised with van jean and morel mushrooms. Another nice thing to put on it, I think, is a bit of honey. Tonight I learned to cook for the first time with French guinea fowl, which I'd never actually used before. I'm just showing it that it's really simple and actually very accessible. Tonight we've been at the French guinea fowl masterclass with Andy Stevenson. It felt like you were eating something special as opposed to a chicken that you eat every single day week or whatever. I'd never heard of French guinea fowl actually and that's because uh, I'm from Luxembourg and we call it pintade over there so when the chef explained what it is I actually suddenly clicked and I thought actually it's really interesting because I've never used it before but I love eating it. It's definitely an ingredient I would be looking to source and cook with in the future. Great recipes that we'll definitely try again.